bullying. The Me Too movement against sexual Toxic harassment. masculinity. Is this the best a man can get? Okay, Sheilat, what is your point? When you're, when you're trying to market, um, you, because I've done a few courses on marketing and products and, uh, and uh, having a brand, well, what, what are you trying to do with the, this intro right here? You're basically showing that uh, men have toxic masculinity, you, men are sexually violent or, or, or and sexually assault people. Uh, what, what is the message you're trying to say? Because right here, you're, you're actually uh, telling men they're toxic and, um, and you're trying to you're trying to sell something but you're u you're using a political message in just the intro what 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 is the point you're trying to make because you're uh, the, just this intro doesn't make any sense when you're trying to sell a product you're trying to uh you're trying to differentiate yourself from everyone else. Why does your uh, is your product better than anyone else? Uh, you're also supposed to as associate feelings and and experiences with that uh, brand. But what uh, what you're doing here is the the worst type of uh, associations with your brand with sexual assault. Uh, that masculinity is toxic. Jeez. It's like the, the, the people who made this advertisement don't have any clue what th their job is supposed to be. You're supposed to do a job selling your product to uh, people who are willing to buy it. Is it? We can't hide from it. It's been going on far too long. We can't laugh it off. Who's the daddy? <laughs> what I actually think she's trying to say. Making the same old excuses. This is the most PC argument. So women never did uh, any anything wrong. I mean, if you look at just the recent history, just looking at uh, at stats, uh, you uh, it's also been quoted in uh, in the uh, video or or in the ad itself on their channel. And it looks like the, it's being deleted by the looks of it. I had a look through the comments. It's basically ha almost half of um, or half of uh, all children, uh, at least in the West, are raised by a mother. Plus, you have a a bit of eighty percent female representation within uh, teachers. So half of uh, all. all uh, male children or uh, boys they have a hundred hundred percent representation of female influence and it's not a uh, toxic masculinity that is making boys uh, uh, evil so to say or so to speak it's the lack of male influence uh, the stats also show I believe Dr. Warren Farrell uh, uh, discovered this was that m boys or children that are left with single fathers fare better than single mothers generally speaking there are of course are not anomalies but uh, looking at the stats and you're again you're just removing or, or using this uh, cis white male is the evil of everything and uh, Men have to feel ashamed. Again, what the hell is your point of uh, of this ad for G Gillette? You you are supposed to uh, sell razors. You're supposed to uh, sell uh, the the feeling of uh, feeling fresh, feeling uh, sh shape, feel uh, attractive, feeling ready to do a difference in the world, uh, uh, feeling confident. Uh, Things like that is something you should associate with uh, with uh, Gillette and and this razor, but uh, you you're oh my god! How many times do I have to say this? I've said this on streams. I've said this on videos before. Don't shit on your audience. Don't go after your audience. 
don't go after your consumers. We've seen it in games, in comics, in in uh, other various uh, forms of uh, businesses and art art forms. What is Gilad doing? You're just making things worse. And not all PR is good PR. Just look at Star Wars. Sales are down because they've done the exact same thing Gilad uh, is doing. Get, uh, go woke, get broke. That That's the, the mantra here, what uh, Gilad is doing. And they don't even realize that. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. But something finally changed. Allegations regarding sexual assault and sexual harassment. And a lot of the people that are picking on him for his weight gain aren't really lookers themselves. Yeah. Oh, and it's the it's the classic bullying move where you want to feel better about yourself, so you look to someone um, and and pick on their imperfections to feel good about yourself. It's just it's stupid. She strikes me as someone who's actually trying to make a very serious and very terrible statement about overweight people look i think that if someone if someone that cares about you tells you like hey let's get healthy together it's not fat shaming you know fat shaming is pointing a finger at you and being like you're fat i think that this study is really fascinating because i mean i can relate to it big time um because when i was uh about four years old my dance instructor told me that i was overweight and as, as a four? Yes, and that stayed with me for the rest of my life. Now, I hope, I mean, I don't fit the, the results of the study. I, I'm not in an unhealthy body weight. At least I don't think I am. But, but you know, it, it does scar you, and you have issues with food and eating for the rest of your life. But off the stage, you fat fuck! Look, I've come to the realization that the people who get that rise out of, you know, attacking others, you know, putting other people down, those are miserable people, right? They're not happy people. And mm -hmm. so this is, this is how they get joy in their life. And I feel like if you see memes like that, or if you see people getting attacked, or if you uh, will sit back and have no emotion when you see unarmed individuals getting shot and killed, well then, I mean, look, you're a sociopath. Right? And so I feel bad for you more than anything, right? And yeah. so if you want to attack me for being overly emotional or for passionately, you know, defending those who are defenseless, then go ahead. You can attack me all you want. But am I saying that I'm better than you? I guess I'm going a little further than you are. Yeah, I'm fucking better than you, okay? Much better than you. You are garbage, okay? If you get a rise out of attacking the powerless, you're garbage. And you can call me a social justice warrior. You can call me whatever the fuck you want. At this point, I don't give a shit, okay? That's it. That's who I am, and it is what it is. I have no respect for women who voted for Trump, okay? Yeah. Me too. I think so poorly of them, and the reason why is because, look, I don't think that you're a single issue voter. I just think you're dumb. Okay, I yeah. think you're fucking. But she says he's a And there will be no going back, because we, we believe in the best in men. Men need to hold other men accountable. You know, I love Terry Crews, but this is such a weak argument. Why don't we hold people, people as in both genders, because they are only two genders, that behave uh, just unacceptable? Uh, when people break the law, report them to, to the police. Don't just single out men in uh, in this commercial. Th this is such a garbage argument to uh, to use, and. Uh, it, it, it's so disgusting. You're you're shitting on men when you're supposed to sell to men. Congratulations on alienating your your own consumer uh, base. I hope uh, your stock tanks because of this garbage that you proved, Gilette. This is garbage. Well, sweetie, come on. To say the right thing, to act the right oh. way. Not cool, not cool. Some already are. In ways big Yo, men. and small. I am strong. I am strong. But some is not enough. 
It's not how we treat each other, okay? Okay. Because the boys watching today will be the men of tomorrow. You know what this part of the commercial shows? It shows uh, human decency and b people being kind, not just... Uh, m well, th there's one uh, instance in that uh, part of the commercial where this one guy is trying to pick up a woman in the, in the street. That's not allowed anymore. You can't speak to the, uh, to the other sex uh, or trying to uh, flirt a little bit. And also... Uh, a parent is supposed to break up fights uh, if if they are getting too serious. This is just a common decency uh, of what people should do. The, 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 the assumption of the advertisement is that men don't do this, and we have to basically be better. Oh my god. Gillette is not the best a man can get. Gillette, you're garbage.